Hey, I was wondering how I get help um, getting my kids back on scheduled days, like I'm supposed to have my kids, and the father like will not bring them to me. Okay, what is your name? Devin Caswell. Okay, I'll have you speak with an officer and uh, see if he can assist you. One moment, please. Shouldn't be such a scary thing to do. See here? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry, what? Hi, Officer Arietta speaking. Hi, um, sorry, I just didn't catch the first part. Um, but I'm I was supposed to get my kids yesterday at three, and the the dad is still holding them from me, and I I don't know like how to get them on my scheduled days. I have a paper, I have paperwork saying when I'm supposed to have them, when he's supposed to have them, and how taxes are supposed to be split, yada yada. Like I just don't know. Yeah. Like, like I, I will not go there and fight in front of my kids. That's why we broke up. And where does, where does he live? Um, if if you just wait one second, I I asked his mom for the address. Yeah. Um. Do you know the city? Yeah, in Clintonville. Um, okay. N eleven three two seven Highway forty five. Okay, that's gonna. Most likely be in Wapaka County's jurisdiction, even if it's a Clintonville address. Um, anything with like a letter in front of it and numbers, that's a, that would be a county address. Okay. Um, um, so you said you have court ordered paperwork. For um, it's not. Placement? It's not court ordered. Um, it was just something that we like we made up and signed um, okay. when we broke up, and like his his mom actually like made up the papers because she knows how he acts and and now yeah. he's withholding my kids from me and i did everything he asked and i still can't get them yeah um the only problem we would run into is the only thing we can really enforce is like court ordered paperwork okay uh, but he so can I'm, he hold my kids to, from me till court well, if you guys are both the parents and the children you guys technically have you both have equal access to the children yeah that's what uh, i thought what i would do <clears throat> is if you need help um if you go out there and try to pick them up you're having issues i would suggest if they're if you guys are having issues to call like what well, county mm -hmm. sheriff's office and just say hey i'm gonna go pick, try to pick up my kids he's been having issues yeah and then see if they can help you or do a standby okay um, while you guys do that because the whole thing was that he he doesn't like my current boyfriend, and he okay. he was actually told by my landlord that he can't be back. So I don't know what his problem is now, why I can't get my kids, and why I couldn't get them yesterday. And today is my second day with them. We have them split by two days, and then the weekends are three. Whoever has them on Friday gets them for, like, you know, till Monday. And, yeah. and I, like, uh, tomorrow's his day, and now I can't fight him tomorrow. Well, again, what I would suggest is if you're going to have continual issues, mm -hmm. um, I can't give you legal advice, so I would I would encourage you if there's issues or if you're having issues with placement issues or custody issues mm -hmm. or, you know, who's where, um, I would encourage you to speak with an attorney, like okay. a family uh, practice attorney. Um, would you know, like, how to get a hold of one? Um, the quickest thing I would recommend is just a, a kind of internet search for, you know, family lawyers, family attorneys, okay. custody lawyers, stuff like that. Okay. Um, like I said, I can't give you legal advice. But no, that's right. That's right. I would suggest that. I, I know I know several people that have come into situations like yours, mm -hmm. and they've gotten it either. 
I've seen it resolved where mm-hmm. the parties come to an agreement. Okay. Um, civilly, or you make you guys sit down, you know, without the kids there. You kind of say, hey, can we sit down and talk about this? Mm-hmm. Um, that sometimes will work. But if you don't get that far, if he just doesn't want to talk to you or something like that, I would I would suggest, you know, at least talking to one okay. uh, an attorney for advice. Okay. Um, so then, um, for right now, I can call Wapaka County. Yeah, if you're going to go out there and try to pick up the kids and you just think it might be weird or you might have an issue. Uh, yeah, I definitely <laughs> think that he'll start a fight. That's why I wouldn't, like, go there by myself or go there in general. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't want to put you in a situation like that, or I wouldn't want you to put yourself in a situation where, where you're going to have some issue like mm-hmm. that. So just, just to be on the safe side, you know, say, hey, look, you know, send him a text message, I'm coming to pick up the kids at 11 yeah. o'clock. Trust me, I've done, I've done that, and he won't answer me. Okay. The last thing he said was something about court, but he can't hold my kids till court. Okay. Okay. Yeah, without knowing the big picture, I... That's about all I can No, that's good. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. I, I hope I helped. Yeah. Thank you. I'll call them. All right. You have a good day and good luck, okay? Thank you.